in my area, the area that I represent, um, there are, uh, it, particularly in, in, you know, your resi in the residential market, there are lots of sales. Um, there are also lots of sales and flips. Uh -huh. And there are sales and teardowns and rebuilds. Hmm. And uh, I it's think it, it's, it's wonderful. First of all, I think that we're a very resilient people. And I think we have proven that over and over and over again, especially in the area that, that I represent and where I live. Uh, I mean, we're 300 years old. And I mean, if yellow fever didn't kill us all, and the Spanish flu didn't kill us all, and Katrina didn't kill us all, you know, we, we tend to bounce back. And we tend to, um, I guess, put our best foot forward embrace some changes, but in 2021, I'm hoping that with 2020 behind us, that we can put our best foot forward, that we can take the best ideas that, uh, that, that we can in order to um, teach our children better. I mean, have we learned anything from, uh, from the virtual learning? Are there some things that, that maybe have come out of that where, uh, it, if we, sh if we do a lot more visual learning, for example, and everything is not all auditory learning, does that work better for some children? And is there some way that we can incorporate that into, into our schooling, for example? Um, so I I'm hopeful. I think we're still working on fiscal reform. And as you know, we have a lot of new members who also campaigned on, uh, on those ideals. And I think that when you have uh, a situation such as we're in now with, you know, the, the economy is not wonderful, uh, that you have an opportunity to try out new ideas and to see, well, let's try this. Let's see if this might work. Have, have other states done this or have other uh, localities done this? And let's see, you know, what happened there. I do believe that there are going, going to be budgetary challenges. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see. I don't sit on any of the money committees, but I do attend uh, the appropriations committee as often as I'm able to. Uh, simply so that I can learn and listen to the discussions and, and so forth. And we'll see. I really would like for our children and our grandchildren and beyond, you know, generations beyond, to have uh, unlimited opportunities uh, to, to live, to play, to grow. Uh, to pray, you know, for for their betterment. Uh, I am fortunate in uh, in that our three adult children are well educated and have wonderful jobs um, in our area, and so we are there. They are, they we are able to see our grandchildren um, and watch them grow. Um, but there's so many of my colleagues whose children have gone, you know, to other states for, for better opportunities. I want better opportunities in our state for our children and our grandchildren.